Hey, how's it going y'all? So today we're unboxing the Evercross scooter, electric scooter. Alright, so this is a stronger one. Uh, it's an upgraded one than my, my previous one that I reviewed on my channel. Uh, this one's going to be almost 800 something watts of power, of uh, battery power, so uh, it's going to last a very long time. Uh, the speed is a lot better than my other one too. Uh, so you'll get the, about almost Suppose you get up to about 25 miles per hour 28 max uh, But you should be go your range should be at least 25 miles per hour 25 miles range sorry with that 800 watt battery My previous scooter which is uh, uh, I'll bring it over in a little bit, but let's go ahead and just unbox this one real quick But my previous one is the one entry level that a lot of people go for, which is the uh, GoTrex. GoTrex uh, G2 was the model I got. Uh, it was an entry level I got from my daughter. Uh, I ended up loving it a lot more than she does. So I got one for myself. I wish I had the handle on top so I could scoot this out better. But let's try it like this. Uh, so far the box this thing is pretty heavy. It's not as light as my GoTrex, that's for sure. But I wouldn't expect it to be, being that this motor is so much bigger, stronger. This is a very well made uh, scooter, huh? Almost there, almost there. The shipping on this was a little bit slower. Um, it took like, almost a week and a half. I mean, it's not that slow, but I just, you know, it, I'm, I'm just used to Amazon where you get everything within two days. All right, here we go. Let me uh, flip this box up, right, so you can see the label better. So this scooter does have a uh, seat on it. I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking I will like it with the seat, <laughs> but we sh we'll see how it is after you know, I, I test drive it for a while and then just ride it, right? But I'm thinking I would like the seat. What about y'all? Do y'all like the seat? Do y'all prefer to have a seat on your scooter or does that kind of defeat the, the, the whole point of having a scooter, huh? I don't know. I think I would like to see. We shall see. Alright, so right off the bat I see some tools here. But I don't think there's going to be any type of installations really. But it's nice that they do give you tools. As you see it comes with all the wrenches and a whole bunch of uh, Allen wrenches. So that's cool. I guess, you know, if you have to do maintenance. I do want to double check uh, the tires because online it shows it as airless tires. See, that's very nice uh, cushion pad in their packing. So that's a good thing. I like it when they package everything very well. And will this one come out? Uh, yes, it will. Alright, so let me see. I think I'm going to stand a little bit in front of the camera just so I can yank this out. Um, let's see how to get this seat off without scratching anything. Okay, so here's the seat post. Seat with the post. Put that to the side. And what appears to be the charger. So you can charge the scooter. I hope it's, it came with a nice full charge because I kind of want to ride it right away. I want to have it sit there and charge it for like four hours, but we shall see. Um, this is going to be a DC 54.6 volts at 2 amps. That's a pretty strong uh, charger. Okay, so now I'm going to stand in front of the camera real quick so I can yank this out. I'm holding it by the handlebars. Hang on, lay 
feet down softly. Okay. I'll close the box here. It has a manual way here at the bottom. I'll close the box here so you can kind of you know, see the logo and the packaging. Hopefully that's in frame. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. So it comes with the manual. Uh, the model is the uh, H5, Evercross H5. Okay, so here it is, uh, how to put on the chair, how to, to unfold it. I don't think I really need it. Alright, so let's get this a little bit closer to in frame here. Alright, so um, first off, this seems to be the handle here, so I'll go ahead and unfold it, take that off, very nice, there's our handle, take that off, nice and easy, and let's go ahead and lift the scooter, let's see, locking in the back, it does not, I don't think. It should be locking up here. And I might be incorrect on that too. Let's see. I thought there was a two-stage locking. Alright, I guess maybe I'll have to pull out the manual, huh? What do you think? And it looks like they taped this, but I should be able to... Oh, okay. That's an easy unwrap here. Looks like the light does come loose, so we'll just have to put that into place in a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dangle on this side, and hopefully I won't break anything. I'll leave that in place. Now, let me eat my words real quick and pop open the manual, and let's see how we unlock this. I'm pretty sure positive that red thing, but. We'll find out real quicky. Find out together, huh? Fold new folding. Corner lamp. Okay, so next page. Operation. Blah, blah, blah. How to charge. Blah blah blah. Let's skip that. Here's a little more about the cruise control. A little bit about the displays here. It's kind of cool how it has a speed odometer, huh? Alright, thank you for not giving us details on how to unlock it. I mean, it can't be that hard. My other one, there was a locking in the back. But this one, it doesn't seem to. So, let me just try it again. Mm-hmm. There you go. Let's push the red button in. Now, is there locking? No, there's not locking. Okay, so let's uh, do a little steppage. Nope. Yeah, see, so that moves that, right? I see that out of the way. Oh, let's try it again. There we go. Oh, okay. I did have it. And then make sure you lock it in place. Okay, so it is the red lever which I thought. So you just kind of push it in, and it moves it away from this into the to the whole sliding lever. And it'll slide up here and then it'll lock into place up there. Okay, looks like my handlebar is gonna be a little bit uh, out of place here. Okay, so let's go ahead and enable the kickstand in the back rear. Put this handlebar in place. Let's see, is it like a plain bike where you just kind of hold it? Okay, there's a lot of wiggle room there, so I guess I just have to lock it in place. But I think that I'm going to leave it in a kind of a seating position to play with it for now. So I think I will just raise it up a little bit. 
I think I'm blocking the shot, huh? Okay. So I was going to raise it maybe like an inch or two. Then I'll lock this into place. But let's go ahead and rotate it like that. Then I'll lock it to the rear, which makes more sense there. Okay, that looks pretty straight on. And as you can see, it comes with keys. Okay, looks like I will need to have an Allen wrench here. It kind of squeeze this into place here. Looks like my brakes are really in the way, huh? I mean, I know they raise it high here. I'm gonna really have to adjust this. But uh, here, let's zoom you in here. Okay, so we have the on and off. Left, right, the horn. Okay, left, right, uh, blinkers. Here's your speedometer. Here's the key, which I don't have to lock it in place. Um, it looks like I could wiggle around and kind of move it to a different spot. I want to kind of let it sit lower, as low as possible. And this one seems to just kind of be in a weird position. So I think I might have to move my, my brake more down. Maybe I could do it like that. If I lower it down here, then my brake, my accelerator would be, the trigger would be a little bit lower too. Kind of like this one, how this one's just a little bit lower on the stock, right? So your hand's almost kind of sitting flush and a little bit lower at a kind of comfortable angle, if you can see that. Versus this one is kind of just straight high and flat. So I don't have to adjust that. All right. So here's just the wiring, as you can see, the jumbled wires, and then go straight into this little hollow body. I kind of wish it was covered or a little bit more rainproof. Again, here's the trigger, and I'll do a little close up here, but once you push this red trigger in, it'll knock it into the channel, and it'll go over here, and it'll pop into the locking side, the locking uh, position, right? So then when it's in the locking position, again, just push the red button trigger and it'll push it into the channel and it'll move up and it'll go back into another locking position. Uh, this paint looks a little bit off right there and a little bit off right here too. Actually, that's a chip of paint here. That's not good. Powder coated. Okay, so here's the disc brakes, shocks, little rain guard action there. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Is this where the light's going to go? Does the light go that low? I thought I saw a little hole right here. I was thinking the hole this is where the light goes. Yeah, the light goes there. Or no, actually it looks like here in the picture. Let's see if you look at the picture. It looks like it won't go there. But we'll find out afterwards, alright? So I'm just going to play around this. And I'll let you know how it goes. Oh, yeah, got to put this pin here. Don't forget the pin. There you go. See, then the ball would lock in the back side. So to push the pin out, just you know, depress the little ball tidbit, and the, the ring, the little pin would just pull to the side. Okay, that's a very important step. It's almost like the seat belt in your car. So make sure you enable that. Okay, here's the the skateboard here. Oh, and then push this tape down. The tape looks a little bit loose. Let's go ahead and get that all down nice and flush here. Let it stick. Okay, that looks like it's not totally finished. Okay. Um, so here's the deck of the board. As you can see, you can put one or side by side very comfortably. Okay, here in the back you'll see is the blinker. And down below is the LED lights. Here's the charging port right here should be charging while I'm talking but I'm just gonna wait okay so here's where your dust I mean your your rear brakes I might have to circle this just to get it out of the way but has a little cover here that's nice here's the wheel and the molder here's the thing that says don't step there I'm just gonna peel that off now because I don't want that on there how you like that mm. until someone steps on it <laughs> Okay, so here's the rear brake. There's the left blinker. Okay, I guess what I would do. Um, um, 
Well, I'll go, I'll go ahead and get this set up and then I'll start the video again in a little bit, all right?